What up, this is July from Kickback Couture. Today I'm bringing you a video on how to make a Nipsey Hustle type beat. So, Nipsey Hustle is super versatile, as you've heard on his album. So, I'm just gonna get straight into it. This is the sample that I used, it is filtered. Um, this is the intro. And I have effects on it, so I'll take it off momentarily. The verse is the same, switches up this time, run it all the way through, slightly different. The end of the verse, I bring back a phrase from this part, the beginning of the verse, and this is the hook. The different colors represent the different sections I chopped so I can keep track of where I placed them in the beat. Turn that back on. So I did run my samples through uh, some effects. So I ran it through Kong, of course. You see me do a video on that, how to use the effects in there. All I used was the tape echo for this one to give it some wobble. And it came out super dope. This is with it. This is without it, with it. You can hear the echo in there. So um, next what I did to the sample was add halftime on these frequencies right here. And I brought the mix down to 50% to add some dimension. Then I programmed some stuff in Looperator. I used the vowel filters and vinyl. Do, 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 do. Cool. So, uh, tape stop, actually not vinyl. Close enough. And that was all I used for that. The next thing I did with my sample was, of course, as you can hear, I filtered out the lows and I filtered out the highs. So I had room to add something here if I decided to. And I had room to accentuate the bass. So I use Scream to bring out some of it, but this is what it sounds like to make it more prominent. And let me go to a point in the track where that plays. And you can still hear the highs in there. I utilized this EQ, which doesn't give you much, much freedom, but I did it uh, with speed, so Mind you, this is a rough mix, and I'll clean up everything later. There is no 808. After I did the, the filtered out the bass, I went on to my drums, and all my drums, every drum that I used, except for my rolls, which came from addictive drums to came from my spider demon drum kit which will be popping up right now so definitely check that out the kick i used was my cage kick i love that kick to death i love all of them but that one man it's my favorite this is what it sounds like this is the snare i used dissect snare and let me turn this off and use this so I'm going to solo my sample and my melody group so you can hear what I'm adding in my bass back dissect snare I use a second snare hi-hat Mode I hat, open hi hat, coordinate. Um, perk is the rim shot. Then 
I had a Vox. My roll, I believe it just came from a random sound font pack. I have no idea where I got it. I just searched roll and it came up. I always use that, that roll. I never know where it's from, but I use it. And then Addicted Drums, I used it to do my roll. So um, one of the rolls is right here. Dope, dope. Okay, so that is everything I put into the beat with the exception of this lead, which plays the second half of the hook. That's how I made a beat for Nipsey Hussle. So if you want my backdrops or anything like that, the link will be in the description box. If you want to grab my drum kit, that link is in the description box as well. If you have any questions, let me know. So pretty simple. Um, I definitely put my own twist to it. I didn't just copy a Nipsey Hussle beat from the album. Um, definitely caught the vibe and it inspired me to do this. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. Keep up the suggestions. It's all culture.